Hey everyone, welcome back to our Gapi channel. So it took me for a while to make another vlog because as you can see at my back, uh, I'm busy making a new wrap for my grow outs. So I need to make a set up for my grow out tanks because a lot of my female breeders are already dropped their fries. So I need a another space for the newborn fries. So as you can see um, this grow out tank that I'm showing this is all one month old so uh, a few days from now they are ready to be gendered and as you can see their colors are now uh, developing and it will help me soon uh, for me to de determine easily which are males which are females so after gendering I will put this on that grow out tank that I'm making and the newborn fries will be put here so I'm 80% done with my uh, new grow out setup so this is a 30 10 gallon setup so I already painted the angle bars and the pipings are already done and completed the air controllers are already attached on the PVC pipes So what is lacking is our filters, so as you can see, we don't have yet a, any filter. So today, for this vlog, I will teach you how to make DIY filter, so that it will lessen our expenses for our GAPI setups. So I look on the Shopee app looking how much is the cost of each sponge filter and it is 130 each so I need dead 30 pieces so it will cost me 3,900 so that's too expensive for my setup so ever since I am using a DIY filter so as you can see the water is clear and it's um, working fine with me ever since and uh, um, the health of my fish are okay so it means that a lot of um, good bacteria are already present on this um, filter media so 
it's also effective like biofilter or sponge filter but th this DIY filter will cost us less so as you can see all my fishes are healthy uh, which uh, indicates that there's a lot of community of good bacteria so the first materials or the first material that we're going to use is PV PVC pipe so it is just 70 pesos here in the Philippines or 1.3 dollar so one PVC pipe you can cut it into 17 to 17 to 20 pieces so make sure it is 6 inches to 7 inches long so one PVC pipe will give you 17 to 20 of this so the second material that we're going to use is this microwave bubble plastic so this is just 5 pesos each 5 pesos each or 10 cents 10 cents in dollar so um, I bought a lot of this because I need 30 pieces so you can buy this on the com convenience stores so for just 5 pesos each so that next material that we're going to use is this cable tie so this is 100 pieces for only 70 pesos so 100 pieces for only 70 pesos so you can buy at any hardware store so this will attach uh, our materials to each other so the next material that we need is a filter cloth or a filter cotton so this is just 20 pesos so 20 pesos per pack so you can buy this in any pet store so the next material that we need is labarak so you can also use pebbles um, small stones be sure that it is fine so i bought it um, 20 pesos per kilo 20 pesos per kilo so you can buy that on the pet shop or pet store so the first thing we need to do is we need to put holes on the um, up portion of this PVC pipe so this is how we do that the next thing is we need to um, put also holes on uh, every part of this container be sure that you have also two holes on the bottom part so that we can um, attach the container and the PVC pipe together using um, the cable tie so this is how it looks like uh, be sure that uh, you also cut the extra wire with scissor so you need to put holes on it every part of the container so then we need to uh, attach the um, filter cloth on the PVC pipe so you can divide it into two so be sure that uh, only 50% of the PVC pipe is covered 
so it's up to you if you want to uh, use a thick filter cloth or just like what I'm doing only uh, I only use thin filter cloth so you can tie it or attach it with the cable tie so be sure it is firmly attached to the PVC so be sure also to cut the excess wire so it, this is how it looks like so again be sure that only 50% of the PVC pipe will be covered by the filter cloth then the next step and the final step we just need to put the gravel or the lab barracks or whatever we are using maybe some of you are using um, pebbles um, small stones so whatever so just fill up the container up to 90 percent so that's it guys that's how easy uh, to make a diy filter so take a look this is how it looks like our finished product diy filter um, it is very cheap this um, one filter uh, will only um, cost us 15 pesos so 30 pieces just like what I need 30 pieces will just cost me less than 500 pesos so guys uh, this is how easy to make DIY filter so that's all for today guys hopefully you have learned something new so thank you for the support as always and be excited for the upcoming vlogs and if you have not yet subscribed please um, press the notification bell as well and subscribe so you won't miss any informative um, guppy videos so thank you once again this is Bills Happy, happy keeping. God bless us all.